Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Uday Ganeshwala, resident from the Department of Radio Diagnosis at Dr. D.Y. Patel Medical College, Hospital and Research Center, Pune. My topic is Spectrum of Imaging Findings and Characterization of Solid Renal Lesions with the help of Cross-Sectional Imaging under the guidance of Dr. Parag Patel, sir. Introduction the accurate diagnosis and characterization of solid renal lesions are crucial in the management of kidney diseases, including renal cell carcinoma and benign tumors. Cross-sectional imaging techniques such as MRI and CT play a vital role in this process, offering detailed insights into the morphology, vascularity and composition of renal mass. Given the increasing prevalence of renal tumors, understanding the spectrum of imaging findings is essential for radiologists and clinicians alike. Aims and Objectives to explore the imaging characteristics of solid renal lesions through cross-sectional imaging modalities. By reviewing the distinct features of various lesions, we hope to enhance diagnosis, diagnostic accuracy and guide appropriate clinical management. Uh, materials and methods. A retrospective study of renal masses was done with cross-sectional imaging findings using 1.5 Tesla MRI unit Siemens Magnetum Avento and 120 slice MDCT Philips Ingenuity Core. Result of study was analyzed and compared with biopsy findings and other available studies in this in the literature. Now let's start with the cases. Over here we can see a well-defined capsulated ball type multilobulated lesion arising from lower pole and interpole of left kidney. The lesion appears heterogeneous on T1 and T2 weighted images. Multiple high signal areas on T2 weighted images are noted representing cystic changes and necrosis and high signals on T1 weighted images likely to represent hemorrhage. Peripheral low signal pseudo capsule appears maintained. This is suggestive of no evidence of invasion of perinephric fat. The lesion shows patchy areas of diffusion restriction with low ADC values on DWI ADC images. Heterogeneous and avid post contrast enhancement is noted, suggesting hypervascularity of the tumor, a feature helpful in distinction between subtypes of RCC. Multiple non enhancing areas are seen within the lesion with high signal areas on T2 weighted images, suggesting central necrotic or cystic areas, common feature of clear cell type of RCC. However, there was no evidence of signal drop on opposed phase chemical shift images. Imaging features are suggestive of clear cell type of RCC. Nephrectomy was done for this patient for which biopsy report was clear cell type of RCC. In this case, we can see there is a well-defined circumscribed peripherally located ball type lesion in the interpole of left kidney. It shows characteristic low signal on T2 weighted images and appears iso intense on T1 weighted images. The lesion shows near homogeneous and progressive post contrast enhancement. However, it is hypovascular as compared to the adjacent normal renal parenchyma, which is characteristic finding of papillary type of RCC. In this case, we can see a well defined mass lesion at the interpole of right kidney. There was no evidence of signal drop on fat saturated images. In phase and opposed phase, chemical shift images shows no evidence of signal drop. Diffusion restriction on DW and ADC images was noted. And near homogeneous post contrast enhancement was noted. Imaging features are suggest of oncocytoma. Over here, we can see large, well defined, multilobulated lesions replacing both the kidneys. Significant signal drop on fat saturated images was noted. This is of macroscopic fat. T1 weighted images shows heterogeneous nature of the lesion with multiple high signal areas within, within suggesting hemorrhage. Many areas show signal suppression on out of phase images in comparison to in phase image of T1 weighted GRE dual echo sequence with India ink artifact at the interface between fat and non fat components, suggestive of microscopic fat. This is characteristic of angiomyolipoma. CT confirmed the presence of fat over here and we can see multiple calcific areas also within. In this case, we can see the large heterogeneous mass arising from right kidney in a four-year-old male child. It shows intermediate signal on T1 weighted images with multiple low signal uh, areas within corresponding with high signal 
areas on T2 weighted images, suggesting cystic change or necrosis. The lesion shows areas of diffusion uh, restriction on DWI ADC images. Uh, multiple areas of signal drop are seen on MEDIC sequence, suggesting hemorrhage or calcification. MRI findings would be confirmed on contrast enhanced CT scan. The lesion turned out to be Wilms tumor on biopsy. Results and discussion. In this study, we can see one case with imaging features suggestive of clear cell type of RCC, which was proven on biopsy. One case with imaging features suggestive of papillary type of RCC, which was also proven on biopsy. One case with imaging features suggestive of oncocytoma in which patient did not opt for biopsy. One case with imaging features suggestive of angiomyolipoma in which patient did not opt for biopsy. One case of Wilms tumor was found in a four-year-old male child, which was proven on biopsy. Thank you.